Six year old girl Kavya from Devanakonda village of Karnul district came to Government General Hospital Karnul. There they diagnosed it is a case of PDA and advised PDA surgical closure. This young girl came to Sunshine Heart Institute and we advised non surgical method or that is called a device closure for PDA, especially in females with, which requires large posterolateral incision to, uh, to avoid that we put we have decided to do a percutaneous uh, closure of the PDA. The basic steps in PDA are number one first we have to put two sheets one to the right femoral artery and the second is the right femoral vein five French sheets. These are the two sheets one is a femoral vein and another is a femoral arterial sheath. Now after putting a sheath we have to do a iotogram in left lateral view to identify the ductus the size of the ductus and the length of the duct and the type of the ductus. There are seven types of ductus arteriosus, tubular, conical like that. So, we have to identify the type of ductus. For that, we have to do a aortic root angiogram through a pictorial catheter in a left lateral view. Now, we are doing a catheter in aortic root angiogram with a pigtail catheter in a left lateral view. Now, you are able to see we are passing a pigtail catheter uh, into the ascending iota. Now, we have passed the pigtail catheter into the arch of the iota and with that we are using a contrast, we are doing a aortic angiogram in left lateral view to identify the ductus. Now, you are able to see the ductus in left lateral view it is 6 millimeters in size we have measured both echocardiographically and angiocardiographically it is the 6 millimeter ductus arteriosus for a device closure always we should oversight the device by by 4 millimeters for for example if this patient has got 6 millimeters of a ductus we have to use a size the app the amplitude duct uh, size which is 10 into 12 millimeters. Now, we are the most important step is we are taking a multi-purpose catheter passing through the right femoral vein into the inferior vena cava, right atrium and right ventricle. Now, we are trying and negotiating using a thermo straight tip wire to enter the left pulmonary artery through, through ductus into the descending aorta. Now, you have been seeing that we have crossed the ductus with that uh, thermo wire and the wire enters through ductus into the descending thoracic iota.
Now, the next step is to pass the PDA sheet through the amplifier ecstasy point three five wire. Now we are removing the multi-purpose uh, catheter and advance in a extra stiff amplifier wire to the ductus. Now we are showing how to prepare a ductus delivery sheet and loader. Now we are seeing a PDA device dilator and a sheath. Both should be flushed with a heparinized saline and the dilator is inserted into the PDA sheath. Now we have taken a 8 French ductus sheath. Now we are loading the PDA dilator into the sheath. Now we are advancing the PDA sheath to the right femoral vein into the inferior vena cava, then into the right atrium, right ventricle, left pulmonary artery, ductus arteriosus and finally into the descending aorta. Now we are going, going to the inferior vena cava now, we are at, now we are entering the right atrium, right ventricle, now we are entering the ductus, we have crossed the ductus, now entered into the descending thoracic aorta. Now, we are showing how the PDA device is loaded. PDA device is called amplager device. It is a made of nitinol and a alloy. It has two ends, aortic end and pulmonary end. Aortic end is usually larger when compared to the pulmonary end. It should be immersed in the heparinized saline. Now, the PDA device is loaded into the loader now we are loading and making an anti clockwise rotation. This PDA device is a loader, is loaded into the loader. Now we are loading it. The next step is to remove any air in the system. For that, we are flushing the loader with a heparinized saline. Now we are able to see the loader and the device. Now you are able to see the device. Now we are withdrawing into the loader. Now, we are attaching the loader into the PDA sheath underwater seal so that no air should enter the system. Now, we are advancing the loader underwater seal into the PDA sheath slowly without any rotation. It should go straight, you should not do any rotation movements. 
now we are advancing the PDA device in through the sheath now you are able to see the device going through the sheath RA it crosses the ductus now enters into the descending aorta after entering to the descending aorta we have to slowly retract the PDA sheath so that the only the aortic end of the disc is deployed now aortic end of the disc is deployed the next important step is we have to withdraw both the PDA device and the PDA sheath together so that it enters the ductus. Now, still we are in the descending aorta. Now, we are checking that whether the PDA device is exactly sitting in the ductus or not by doing what is called Wiggles maneuver. Able to see the deployed aortic end of the amplager PDA device. Now, still we have not deployed the pulmonary end, we are checking in different methods. We are doing aortic root angio once again to confirm the exact position of the disc. Now, we have deployed the pulmonary end of the ductus now. Now, we are doing anti clockwise rotation of the plastic wise to release the ductus. Once again, we are rechecking whether the ductus is totally closed or not. Now, the device is deployed and it exactly fitted into the ductus. We have checked once again through the aortic angiogram and the there is no residual shunt across the PDA. Now, device closure of the PDA is one of the safe and very effective methods. Now, now, I congratulate my team members, Dr. Sanjeev Kumar, Dr. Kshamata, Sister Anita and Mr. Vasudev Reddy. Thank you. Sunshine, it's a sunshine.